Seven months after Cyberport suffered a massive data breach, the privacy watchdog unveiled its findings. The government-owned company, which manages the sprawling campus near Telegraph Bay, was subject to a ransomware attack last August. The personal information of around 13,600 people, including existing and former employees, as well as job seekers, were stolen. Cyberport refused to pay a ransom of around $2.3 million, and the data were eventually exposed online. The Privacy Commissioner's Office pointed out that 40 percent of the victims could have been spared from the mishap had the company adhered to its own rules. Under its data retention policy, the personal information of job applicants who did not secure an offer should be erased after one year. Likewise, the confidential data of workers shall be destroyed once they terminate their employment with Cyberport. Privacy Commissioner Ada Chong said the oldest case dated back to 2016 when the victim applied for a job at Cyberport. But the applicant's personal data were still in the system when the incident took place last year. The tech hub was unable to provide an explanation on the unnecessary retention, she added. While Cyberport is supposed to be Hong Kong's digital technology pioneer, it lacked a robust cybersecurity framework to properly protect its computer systems. We take into account the fact that Cyberport is um, a company um, um, which is um, managing the um, Cyberport um, companies, and therefore um, we should expect a higher standard of um, cybersecurity and also um, data security um, being implemented um, by the company. I'd expect that um, being a company with a well-established um, um, database um, holding a substantial amount of um, personal data, stakeholders and also members of the public would expect Cyberport to allocate sufficient resources um, to ensure its um, data security and cyber security. Despite being named and shamed by the watchdog, Cyberport would not be facing criminal prosecution unless another breach occurs in the future. It has been ordered to implement a list of remedial measures by the end of next month. The manager of the tech hub said it has already stepped up work to strengthen system and data security. Janice Lowe, Cable News.